What arcanists regard to be more important is the knowledge from another pathway, which is often known as gnosis. Compared with mankind's knowledge gained from reasoning, what are the features of gnosis? Sonetto. Miss, the features of gnosis are, one, it cannot be verified by an independent third party, and two, it is impossible to be comprehended through reasoning. Exactly. And that's also one of the reasons that the knowledge of the study of Arcanum is hard to be accepted by the academic world. The academic research is required to be open to the public and can pass the independent tests. But the unpredictability of Arcanum will lead to the arcane researches to methodological agnosticism. Thus, all the trainings and the scientific stabilizing appliances that the school provided for you is to overcome the instability of your arcane skill, in order to ensure the peace and stability of the human world. May the peace be with us! Oh, j'ai presque été assez rapide pour répondre à cette question. Comment elle a... Comment elle a pu être aussi rapide Next question. After the fall of the Roman Empire, the number of arcanists, along with the related literature, had reduced correspondingly. Who can tell us the history of that time in brief? Miss! Miss! I... I... Miss! I know this one! Sonetto. As the Roman Empire declined, some arcanists were tempted by the irrational side of their nature and applied magia naturalis in warfare and disputes over interests, which irritated the church and other powers of religion. At that time, people in Europe widely considered arcanum to be the paganism that collaborates with the demons, hence the trials against arcanists. In response, arcanists struck back fiercely. However, Due to their spontaneous character and the unpredictability of their whereabouts, their communication was unsuccessful during the fight. Both sides struggled in repeated battles. In the end, mankind, jointly led by both their religious and secular leaders, prevailed. Huh? But it's not possible! It's not what my father said! She's wrong! I know! I know the right answer! All right. Give it a try, Matilda. For what I know, it wasn't Arcanists who started the war. The attack on Constantinople was waged by lordships in Western Europe to ransack the capital for resources and the literature of Arcanum. The nursery rhyme my grandpa sang for me tells me all about it. Long ago, arcanists weren't called by this name. They were once gifted philosophers, diviners or doctors, until they were put on the labels of pagans, freaks and witches, and isolated by their people. They were entirely forgotten. The next time people saw them, they had this new name, Arcanists. Inspiring. Do you remember its name? How about the melody? Could you present several lines for the class? Let me think. It was like... Uh, uh, that's not it. Oh, that's weird. I... I can't remember it. Ha <laughs> ha! Don't remember a thing! but still feel confident enough to answer the question. Shame on you, little thing. I was even umming the horn last night. It's just a... <laughs> Sit down, please, Matilda. Sonetto is correct. Matilda, you have just transferred here. 
It may take you some time to get used to our curriculum. A rhyme can be used in studying folklore, but it's still different from a formal historical intelligence. Class, please turn to the last question of the test. After the Ottoman Empire seized control over Constantinople, Georgius Gemistos, a member of our Sharon commune, also an arcanist and philosopher of the Roman Empire, traveled to Florence. He brought one classical literature of ancient thurgy into the city, which sparked discussion and later brought about the annual humanist gathering, the Chaldea Conference, where the study of Arcanum was debated over its use for mankind development. Who knows the name of his work brought by Gemistos? Miss! Me! Me! Miss! Please! I know this one! I do know! Hmm. Verton, do you know the answer to this question? Verton? Verton, she is absent again. Just take another route. Sonato, come here. Is my book wall still there? She didn't put it down, right? She didn't. <sighs> she is nice, unlike the bad potion instructor who turned my books into a puddle of mud. Oh, right. Guess what I found today? Here, give me your hand. Look, the foreteller of the rain, the Hylerborea. I caught it through the school's front gate. I even got stung by the electric fence when I took my hands back. It keeps croaking in my pocket. Look, it's still raining outside. Aren't you aware that you've been given a timeout, Miss Burton? Huh? I don't understand why you always skip classes. You know that we are not supposed to pay too much attention to affairs outside the school. Please, don't bring me these pebbles and frogs anymore. These are... meaningless. We are born to die martyrs. Why? Just because the student handbook says so? That's right. I don't like the handbook. It smells like those stinky socks in the attic. Sonato, aren't you really curious about what is outside the school? You were also in that parade outside the school before. The pebbles, the frogs, the attic with stinky socks. They're just a teeny tiny part of the whole world. I once met a girl who came to our school. Please, please stop. These are very dangerous things. The student handbook is protecting us. It is protecting us from harm and regrets. As the instructors have told us, to live is to lose things around us until the day we lose life itself to death. That's why we should only focus on the supreme missions. Until the day we lose life itself. To death. Now it's coming, my lord. What? Don't forget my heart. Oh. 
Failed. Her dramatic segment has been reactivated. Increase the power, stabilize her psych cube. Try the next dream. The artificial sonambulism therapy may not work on her, Mesmer. Hmm? You're here, Madam Z. All patients who have the symptoms of stress disorder need to receive treatments in the rehabilitation center. Her trauma level was assessed as a type 2. I needed to take responsibility for her health. Back in the year when she became the timekeeper, she didn't receive any treatment. I know her well. She has enough power in her to make it through. I'm just following orders, madam. It is the committee's direct order to treat Fairton. If you have anything to say, convince the vice president first. <sighs> she hasn't had any food for days. Gave her a glucose injection. I have a meeting later, so if you would excuse me. I did expect you would have learned your lesson in such a long time. Timekeeper. No. I'm more used to calling you Fairton. I have changed. Have you? Are you still suffering from those pointless things? Sonetto, the chief assistant of the Foundation's timekeeper. My employee number is SF3800000080110 y Could you please register a visit to Ward 1525 for me? Please present your ID. Hold that crystal with your right hand until the color changes. Oh, okay. What is the shape of the sun? A sphere or a cube? A sphere. Which is edible? Rubber, cabbage, or carbuncle? Cabbage. Does the rain come down from the sky or the other way around? Can be both. You're good to go. Take these materials with you. The visitor guide is between the second and third page. Go in from the left, turn right twice, and take the lift. Keep walking and you will see the ward. I should know. Just leave the number out next time. Will you? Huh? The nurses seem busy here. The registration is also more rigorous than it was before. I wonder if this is because of the storm. Turn right again. Hmm? But there's only one way, and it goes left. Did I miss any crossings? things. Mm hmm? So, here is a junction to the right.
every button here to buy some time. Who was that? Could be a disoriented patient, or a man a spy, or... I can't get away from them. And I will not bring danger to the timekeeper. I will catch this person. The Rehabilitation Center is established to provide effective medical services and trainings to the patients for their bodily functions to be restored. This center is managed by Laplace Scientific Computing Center. If you have any special requirements or have encountered any suspicious persons, please move to the ground floor lobby for help. If you are distant from the lobby, please press the yellow button next to the fire hose cabinets. The security on your floor will come to assist shortly. They're here. I don't see any cabinets. That's fine. If no help or assistance has come to you in time, you may take action to defend yourself. A free wake-up procedure will be administered on any unresponsive persons, if any. Good. Just what I need. The sanitary trolley is parked at the next turn. I've left the biggest garbage bag on it. <gasps> Who are you? Speak up! Why are you following me? Getting away. Whoever you are, may the peace be with us. Matilda? It's you? I'm sorry. I... I thought it was someone suspicious, so... Aww. Matilda! Are you alright? I'm obliged to stop you from making a scene here and disturbing the patients. I'm... I'm here to give you my warning. Please wait. Ouch! Oh, isn't it the Sonneteer? And... our outstanding graduate. I thought it was some acute mania patient getting out, waiting for my fancy transcranial magnetic stimulation therapy. Ah, oh, ça fait mal. Quoi? Son tear? How would I have anything to do with her? I'm Matilda Buanish, the top three students in school, the monitor assistant, and the speaker of graceful French. None shall forget my name after making the acquaintance of me. I didn't, but I guess no one will remember the third place. Go away! Go! Don't stand in my way! Matilda, please take... Ugh. <sighs> 
She just ran away like that. There's even garbage dust on her hair. I didn't know she was the one following me. I shouldn't have acted in haste. All right, get down to business. Zanetto, you are here visiting the timekeeper, right? Follow me. Okay. A little bird told me you went to visit Virgin. Is that right? Yes. How is she doing? Just like the other patients. Unconscious. Artificial somnambulism therapy shall be good for her. It's been four years since she became the timekeeper. She surely needs a break. Yes, and I have no other opinion about this, Madam Vice President. I'm here for another issue. The proposal of additional manpower submitted by the House of Integratus. I have given it consideration. It's not worth a committee hearing. Are you here to talk about dead plans? Yes. Because I have the exact opposite view. Verton's suitcase will not be affected by the storm, just like the buildings in our headquarters. Which means she will soon be able to form a team, indirectly controlled by the Foundation. I suggest putting her in command of an independent autonomous unit with enough support they should soon become another reliable force of the Foundation. And it also facilitates our relationship with Virton. The people Virton brought back with her, who are they? Arcanists, who have stable personalities, good command over their arcane skills, and some social experiences. If you ask me, they are some pitiful exiles who lost everything in the storm. So desperate, horrified, and overwhelmed, longing for something stable to hold on to. Virgin is not here. Only the Foundation can give them what they want. But what can they give us in return? The innate arbitrariness of Arcanists are questioning our beliefs of mankind's supremacy because they have nobler blood. <sighs> of course the Foundation needs new blood, especially those who are highly obedient and know the importance of order. That's why these poor refugees need no independent unit or autonomy. They need the guidance of disciplines. A teaching more comprehensive than what's been given to those naive children in school. I see. What you want is a group of dumb puppets. I'm always the optimist in the room. And you know that, Miss Z. This won't be so much of a dead plan if one day they can prove they are not some... Dumb puppets. <gasps> du calme, maintenant. Du calme. Mais je n'ai suivi personne. Je me promenais simplement dans le couloir, comme d'habitude. C'est elle qui était mal intentionnée. C'est elle qui m'a sauté dessus Je devais avoir l'air misérable quand je m'en suis sortie. Je voulais juste lui dire que je lui ai lu dans la dernière divination. Les amis qu'ils ont amenés sont peut-être en danger. Mais je ne sais pas quand Verta sera de nouveau consciente. C'était plus ou moins une personne remarquable. Sans compter que c'est la responsable de ce laiton maintenant. Mais je ne sais pas si je dois être en colère ou triste pour ça. 
son étau doit être terriblement inquiet pour elle. Si seulement je pouvais aider. Mais ça fait longtemps qu'on ne s'est pas vu. Ses cheveux ont poussé et sentent bon. <rire> ah Qu'est-ce que je viens de dire Boucle-la Tais-toi Tu es Mathilda, la personne qui va battre les meilleurs de la classe Huh? Who are you? Yeah, your skull has fallen. I was picking it up for you. What are you timber chambering about? Are you a patient here? Where's your assigned care worker? I saw it. I saw it all. Bodies breaking down into pieces, into tetrahedrons and cubes. Your head is a pretty octahedron. I can't let your octahedron fall to the ground, too. Be careful with your ears. myself. See? This is my orb. Come up. Touch it. What's its shape? This is... Caretaker and took the keys. I'm obliged to take you down. May the peace be with us. The storm took our friend from us. In fact, we all knew this would have happened, but it took place too soon, caught us all off guard. And there were only clothes left. That's right. I've looked up the directory of Arcanus in the US in 1929. None of their family is on it. She was Greco's biological daughter. Schneider was a pseudonym. I haven't worked out the reason behind this, but she was indeed... a human who casts arcane skills. Thanks for sharing. It could help with my disease analysis. Timekeeper has been diagnosed with type 2 trauma. Do you know what that means? I don't know much about psychology. It means she had suffered the same traumatic experience repeatedly. Even so, she showed no behavioral or cognitive impairment. Back then, as we held her down and put the helmet on her, she even advised me in an extremely calm manner. I agree with your judgment, but it's just for this time. She was the bellwether of the breakaway incident after all. I'll say she's been well behaved this time. I, I thought Timekeeper is receiving treatment for her low spirit. But you said you held her down. Oh, that's just another description of the method used for the same purpose. The aim was to ensure Verton was unconscious and taken back. That's the direct order from the Vice President of the Committee, Constantine. The order from on high was given on the premise of rational thinking and consideration over pros and cons. You are not questioning the reasoning of mankind, are you? 
I am not. Sharing the same set of values is the reason I'd like to share these interesting details with you. Of course, if you were a pureblood human, I would appreciate you more. Veritin's magnetic field always maintains a nuanced balance. She barely dreams proactively. So I have to deploy different dreams to search for the very first dream which reflects the source of her trauma. How much longer is this therapy going to take, in your view? However long it takes. As long as I receive a new order. So none of these have been applied for the Timekeeper's well-being. Yes. What's wrong with you, Sonetto? <sighs> I... I don't know. Sorry, I overreacted. I don't feel quite myself today. I can't tell what's wrong. Perhaps I ate something bad for breakfast. Go back and rest if you're feeling unwell. Don't be too hard on yourself. Thank you. Please, take good care of the timekeeper. I'll be on my way. In 388 BC, standing in the garden paths of Athens, there was an academia of philosophers. Thirty-six human ideologists presented that day were thinking about the ever-present old question, just as you are. What passes knowledge? What maintains the world's balance? Students, don't forget the exhortation from the philosophers. Heritage, honor, rationality, responsibility. This will be your lifelong pursuit. May the peace be with us. May the peace be with mankind. Last year, 45% of our graduates were chosen to work in the St. Pavlov Foundation headquarters. A particular excellent student has even been accepted by the House of Integratus. The rest of the children, too, have become frontline investigators, staffs a foundation office in other countries, or professional soldiers dedicating themselves to the magnificent cause of mankind. For thousands of years, we have taken in countless young arcanists from workhouses and foundling hospitals and have raised them to be outstanding students and models in every industry. Soon, you will also be the backbone in preserving world order and Burton? No. Then why aren't you standing in the line? 
I'm sorry. I just wanted to see you clearly, since your speech was so wonderful. Burton, you are the youngest child we've ever taken in. You were just a month old when you came to the school. And by now, you've spent almost 12 years in here. I'd like to hear your thoughts since you are the most unique child in the school. Whatever the question or opinion is, I will respond with an answer. Any question? Of course, as you wish. Hmm. What is the storm, sir? May I ask, how much further do we have to go? What? Till we get to the guardhouse. We're almost there. Don't worry. Okay. As your punishment, no dinner will be served tonight. You will stay here until tomorrow. Someone picks you up at noon. Okay. I won't ask you how you knew that word, but you have to promise that you won't mention it again. I promise. All right, here we are. This is not some friendly place. The arcane skills I taught you before may help. I hope you have paid close attention in that class. Get inside. Think carefully, or next time it won't be just confinement. This is... Jamiwa. So cool. It's said that the Shamirs are marvelous creatures. Even King Solomon searched for them for years. They are incredible engravers, more skilled than the greatest craftsmen among humans. They can engrave on leaves, metal, and gemstones, build a sacred temple, or destroy a giant vessel. But now. They've become tools for punishing naughty kids. Oh, it hurts! There are at least a few hundred Shamirs here, and they're all moving towards me. The instructor did teach two incantations to repel insects. Shamirs are not any ordinary worm. They were in fact a kind of advanced critter. The elementary arcane skills won't work on them. Let alone there are no signs of my arcane abilities up till now. Maybe... I'm not an arcanist at all. Ouch! Please don't bite me two times in a row. No, stop. I have to focus now. There must be a way I can think of. to there first. <sighs> Weird. Why no Shamir's here? Hmm. These things sticking to my shoe are... Oh, brands. I 
jumped over here. The Shamirs just keep crawling towards the grains. Seems that they are not orientated by sounds. What matters to them is the grain. But I can't stay here forever. There are food in every corner. They will get here sooner or later. anything to this wool blanket. Wool? Oh, so that's the case. The legend says that the way to store Shamir worms is to wrap them in wool and store them in a container made of lead. Which means the wall of this room should be made of... poisonous to them. Well, to me as well. I have everything I need. Grains to lure them and walls to drag them away. The solutions are more than I expected. All right, let's move. Expel them to the corner. Finally, get them all to the corner. Hmm. I'm a bit hungry. Oh, right. I'll check what this padlock is made of and see if it can be consumed by the schmears. Hmm. I see. With plenty of food on the ground, Shamirs won't notice the ironware hanging above. <laughs> Time to try a brand new dish, you old gentleman. anything with a toss. Look! So cool! You can open these doors, can't you? Yes. Can you help me out of here? And I swear I will be at your service. that special skill of yours and open this lock on my door. And so you can leave without a backward glance? Listen to you. I'm not going back in here again. No way then. But if you don't come back, the instructor will give us a harsher punishment. I'm just sneaking out for food. I'll be back. What would you like to have? Fish and chips. Some onion vinaigrette on the side if they have any. No problem. I'll bring some mashed peas too. So you managed to control the Shamirs and got out? Yes. How about you? Any odd things in your room? Nothing peculiar, just some stinky dots. Didn't even take me long to take care of them. Mmm, the staff canteen does serve some good fish and chips. What you have in the second canteen is not even close to it. Keep missing the dressings, and sometimes it's not even cod they fried. Mmm. 
So, why are you here? I said that word. What word? That word. I said at the pre-parade assembly. Oh, you mean the S word? At the school assembly? <laughs> Good for you. <laughs> the big head is going to be so pissed. I don't understand. It was him who said that I can ask any questions that I want. Where did you learn that word? I heard it from the janitor of our dormitory. That was the last thing he said. I saw him being escorted outside the school gate and onto a truck. He screamed all along, the storm is coming, the storm is coming. Um, I said it again. Shoot. Never mind, keep going. I asked many people, but none was bothered to answer. Uncle Morris said the janitor left the school at an inappropriate time and saw some inappropriate things, so he needed treat. So why was it ice? The school is blocking the news feed. What do you mean? Look at this. I snuck this up from the staff office. The world changing storm. Truth covered by the foundation. Yes, he wrote about a phenomenon called the storm which would bring everybody endangered. Yet, the Foundation has stayed in silence about it. We are not allowed to say that word, and this is the evidence. It doesn't tell us exactly what the word is either. There's a line in bold at the end of the article. Welcome to Manus Vindicte. What's Manus Vindicte? Dunno. Never heard of it. Something has been printed on the back too. Hmm. Let me see. Nor happiness, nor harmony, nor fame. Nor pride, nor strength, nor skill in arms or arts. Shepherd those herds whom blindness makes tame. Their eyes see not one light of bright stars. Man's past ways are shaded by their shame. Peans are but admiration's mirror half. Tides run in blind by their ever be routine. Staining that heaven with obscene calamity. When folly wrecks wit, where do stand we? Before a cruel whip, whip man, man who man, man would be, must rule the empire, empire of himself. himself. In it, must, must be, be supreme, supreme. Establishing, establishing his throne. throne. On vanquished will, will quelling, quelling the challenges. Of hopes and fears, fears being himself alone. What's going on? Great, the chips have brought in more rats. Verdin? Verdin! Do you have to drift off now? Come over and help! Madam Vice President. Come in. 
Here is the Mon State Department report. Any news I shouldn't miss? The mainstream media in Europe are on our side and have no extra coverage on the issue. In fact, as long as there is no tangible evidence, they won't act upon this rashly. The storm hasn't come to this area yet. For most of the people, what Manus Vendicte has said in their pamphlets are totally unfounded and ludicrous. They have been making quite a scene here and there, as I heard. Yes, residents nearby have all received their pamphlets. Even the SPDM has reported some cases. Affected by the time reversion, our manpower and resources have become much less than before. It will take us a long time to complete the citywide air defense system. Were these pamphlets airdropped? Yes, most of them were. Give me a visual of the aerial carriers of Manus Vindicte. These are Latias. Their sizes are about 4 to 6 feet, covered mostly in black. They have a similar appearance to manta rays and have good maneuverability and explosive power. Olidiao 04. This type of Olidia has limited operation range and cannot take a long haul. They are too dependent on the water. Indeed, according to our report, they usually leave after a three-hour hovering every day. <laughs> Ms. Z, where do you see fit for this bishop? Hmm. I think he should go to B5. Yes, I thought the same. Adequate for low-altitude aerial reconnaissance surveys. But they are only found in the southern part of Cameroon and difficult to capture. It is a very rare arcane species. Sending this many Olidiaos on such short notice. I would presume Manus Vindicte has already established a command post somewhere nearby. I don't see how this is helpful. As they said themselves, the storm is coming. What do you say of this new command post of theirs? Like our headquarter. Is a building that will not be affected by the storm. <sighs> they need to make sure that Olivia won't be affected by the storm. I think you know what to do, Miss C. Take over the initiative. Find their location. Exactly. Send a scout squad to follow the Olidiaos and get the others to search in the water catchment areas within 100 miles from here. We are going behind their front lines, just like this bishop. <laughs> I will forward this to the Secretary of the Army. Make a copy to the Pax House as well. Copy that. What about the school's air defense? There have been rumors in school. I'm worried the students might be affected. Send Zeno's Air Force trainees to the school. Affirmative. Our Lydia's are crafty creatures. I will pick those who are equipped with field experience. We are leading ourselves into a death trap. We need someone to forecast the storm. Finally got to let my baby SU-01V out for a ride. It feels right. This is where they train those little lab rats? Uh huh. Five canteens. Way better than that stupid Xeno. Oi! Lilia! We don't have the signal yet! You must not take off! Get down here now! 
Nobody cares, dude. There will always be a signal. Either you move your ass or swallow my exhaust. <laughs> This is outrageous! For once I forgot my rabbit's foot and I got assigned to team up with her! Andrew, heads down! What? Watch where you go! You're gonna slice my head off if I weren't quick enough! Shut up and take your broom! See those dark bats there? Let's see who come back with more trophies! Loser, loser! Vodka coaster! Oi! Hey! Wait up! in the guardhouse, huh? I have the accusation and the evidence. Surely you don't want one of the instructors to have it, right? So that's what you mean. I don't care, Joseph. You can deal with it as you want. Come on, cut the crap. Shine my shoes for a week or cry in the guardhouse again. I'm messing with you. How would you prove that I wrote it? You! That's not what my writing looks like when I use my right hand. And now you are the one holding the note. I could say it's you who wrote it, right? <laughs> I'll call the instructor over for you. You jerk! You're just a bastard that can't even cast an incantation! Go on, you two! I want her legs broken today! Instructor's here! Go, go, come on! Stop fighting! <laughs> I need to hide quickly.
Do you think they're gonna come? What if, in the end, no one shows up? Maybe nobody cares what's outside the school. Maybe everyone's happy with what they've learned in the school. At least there will be two, I guess. Isabella. When she just got into the school, she was crying all the time and wanted to go home. Maybe she will come. You gather us all here. Are you going to hold out against the principal? What? Absolutely not. I never thought of that. <sighs> That's a relief. I was so nervous. That was a harsh question you asked, Mesma. But thank goodness, sir. I'll be the first one out of here if it were a rebellion. This peace lover is not up against anyone. <laughs> <laughs> then what is it you want? We we came here in secrecy. I didn't expect so many of you. So many of you in school are just like the ring and me. Want to know more about the things outside. Those rumors, have you heard? Yet we are prohibited not only to say that word, but also to speak about anything related to the outside world. Our life is all about training, peace and mankind, nothing else. We have different hair colors, speak with different accents, and cast different arcane skills. But the student handbook asks us to forget about all these. It aims at eliminating our differences and ensuring conformity in the school. We have found some pamphlets with poems from the outside world printed on them. This is something we've never been taught in class. That poem inspired me with so many things. We are the chosen ones. We are meant to be the backbone of the primary defense for mankind. But all of you here today must still be curious about who you really are and what is in the world outside. We cannot leave here, but we can know the truth through another way. Fellow students, before entering the school, where did you live? What kind of life did you lead? Did people there cast incantations too? Did they like scorn just as we do? By piecing together our memories from all over the world, we can rebuild the very world outside. 
So that's how you know the world. This is the safest method we can think of, given that none of us are leaving school. Ah, uh, I tuck some of these pamphlets in my pocket, and the stained glass balls an instructor left to me when he resigned. I'd say these are a part of the outside world. Shh! Silence! No one sees you for Matilda! Matilda Buanish. I am the most senior transfer student in the school. In fact, I was too senior to be taken in, if not for that special approval. <laughs> that is to say, I remember the outside world a lot more than you do. I... I'm Isabella. I was taken here at four. So, I don't remember much of the outside world. I can recall Mother Superior used to like wearing floral dresses in pale blue and... We don't have much rain from where I grew up. The cloudless sky stretched out over our head and fell into the horizon. family has been psychologists for generations in the Arcanum world. Animal magnetism was invented by my grandfather's 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 grandfather. But I'm not interested in Arcanus. They're all mad people, and we had to treat them after all. They look scary. Oh, and there was a big football field near my house. Bare spots were on the turf everywhere, and there was also rust on the gold. school song. See, each word is well matched to the rhythm. Nor happiness, nor majesty, nor fame, nor peace, nor strength, nor skills in arms or arts. My, they do go well together. Shepherd, those herds whom blindness makes tame. There's echoes, not one beating of the hearts. God. Each syllable is joining the notes so well. Is this a sign revealed by destiny? Are we told to, told to? The singing of the great ceremony. <sighs> Impossible. We will definitely get caught. But in doing so, the big head will hear our voices. Come to realize that we we have this wish. They will understand us, won't they, Burton? After all, it is them who brought us up and you cared for us. <sighs> they may be upset. Or blame us. But let's give it a try. Song. Sounds 
much better than it was before. You weren't in the dormitory last night. Were you on duty yesterday? Yes, as I am today. I know you are planning something behind the instructor's backs. Please do not act against any regulations stipulated in the student handbook. Otherwise, I am obliged to report this to the instructor as the monitor student on duty. Okay. Are we ready? Yes. We got this. Let's do this. Good luck to us all. Today, I am honored to be accompanied by the young representative of the St. Pavlov Foundation Committee, Miss C. The principal of our close partner, Mr. Claude Smith of Zeno Academy, and the outstanding alumni who graduated last year, to our annual parade ceremony. The parade ceremony where we show our best image and morale once a year. Each year, the best students would be selected to take a three month intense training and become the honor guard of our school and present the fabulous demeanor of our students. And now, everyone, the first part of the ceremony, school song. Peace lives on.
Sir, please, listen to us. Please, give us a chance. Let us be... Let us be ourselves. the right off the stage now copy that move get the water pipe attached on the tap and prepare for the dumb bitter potion It slipped in my hand. We've investigated the event in the school. Incited by the Manus pamphlets, a girl named Merton assembled about 20 students to sing a revised version of the school song at the parade ceremony. Principal Richard and the safety supervisor failed to dissuade them and thus deploy guards, dumb bitter potion and non-lethal weapons. During the conflict, Merton's lab was accidentally shot by a non-lethal weapon. She fell into a coma. With the treatment provided by the school clinic, she was discharged after making a full recovery. She should be back to school today. What a bad move. Whose move? What was their appeal? They wanted to know the outside world, especially the storm. Hmm. This virgin is the one that we know of? The kid who stretched her arms outside the front gate to catch the frog during the storm. That, Burton? Yes. If I recall correctly, the report described her arm didn't show any signs of change after getting soaked in the storm. Nor inflammation, nor decaying, nor deformation, nor any other diseases. She's special. Makes me think of her mother. I've never met her mother. Such a pity. Please inform Richard that the school is now under special supervision. The committee will take charge from here. What's the plan now? We've made a bad move. They have made it such a scene which will inevitably place us on the opposite side of those kids. They sowed a seed of doubt in those children. 
What happened this time will have a long-lasting effect, and Manus will not sit tight by it. And I... I need Virgin to grow. The way I prefer. When an Elidial gets nervous, it may attack people. Whenever this happens, we need to lower our body as much as we can and act friendly to avoid irritating it. I... I think you may find this helpful. You're welcome. Are you feeling better now? I heard you were in a coma for two days. I'm fine. It doesn't hurt so much now. It hurt more than the tear gas burned me. The song was beautiful. Glad to hear you say so. But we won't sing it anymore. I think other students are still locked in the guardhouse. Yes. I heard it's dreadful in there. I went to visit with some food, but was turned away by the instructor. They will be out next week. They're welcome to borrow my notes. Thank you for your kindness. I hope they'll have the chance to use them. I'm here to return this book. Sure. I'm glad to see you reflecting on your actions. The principal and the instructors would never do harm to their students. I think you understand now. Thank you, instructor. I'll be on my way. Hope you have a wonderful day. Isabella, put these back on the shelf. Yes, miss. very important things to say to you. I've now obtained the map of the school, including the blocks around it, but now we can't meet in public places, as there are students watching us. George the Oak was also zoned to the alert area. We need a new location for gathering. Better meet tonight. Right beneath this building. It was an air raid tunnel under the library. No one would come down there. We can walk there from the basement level 2 of the girls' dorm. There will be a gate, but it opens at an easy push. But it'll be a long way to walk, and we will have to walk through the basement level of the clinic. Nice! Girls' dorm. Right? D don't worry. Easy enough for me. I also have some important info to share with you. See you at seven. I'll bring along the others, so don't you worry.
went to Mesmer Junior's dorm and the teaching building to look her up. But she's not in any of the places, so I just came on my own. Probably she's studying in secret. Good for her. But she will not get the better of me. Hm. What about the others? I can see some people are missing. They no longer speak to me after coming out of the guardhouse. These are all the companions we have now. It's all right, Ring. What we're going to do this time is much more dangerous than last time. And we may lose everything we have. We're here because we made up our minds. If not for the ceremony, I wouldn't have thought... That the principal, as well as the instructors, are afraid of us knowing even the slightest thing about the outside world. They're even more afraid that we would become puppets that break away from the threads. I don't want to live like this anymore. Burton, that's why you gathered us here, right? When I vomited in the guardhouse because of extreme hunger, I prayed, but... One day... <sighs> Look, this is the full map of our school, including the aerial view of the schools and the blocks nearby. I found the technical drawings of the air defence renovation in the library and added the missing underground tunnel part to the map. I didn't realise until I put all these together and found that the underground air raid tunnel connects the northwest and southeast watchtowers. And the two first floors of these towers are the only two exits towards the outside world, aside from the game. <gasps> the air raid tunnel! How clever! You see, it is impossible to sneak out from the front gate under their surveillance from the watchtowers. <laughs> Having such an open view, they will never see us coming out from underneath! A blind spot attack! Then which one of the two towers are we going to? Have you planned out the route? The safest plan is to go to the clinic through the girls' dormitory. There is only a door between the southeast watch tower and the clinic. Taking the Shamirs with us, then we don't have to worry about the keys. The map only shows the blocks outside the southeast watch tower. I noticed that there are many options for transportation in the neighborhood. Easy for escape. This is a nice map. Where did you get it? Airdrop by one of the Olidios. You have to be quick and stealthy in collecting them. Hehe, <laughs> that's my rings for. The number of Olidio has recently increased, airdropping packages with various stuff. Maps, newspapers headlining foundation cover-ups, survival guides, they even dropped some field rations recently. By coincidence or not, I think this man has been dictated helping us all the time. That'd be great then. We should thank them dearly after we get out. Yes, we should. <clears throat> I also have news about our timing to move. The headquarter will visit our school in five days. Before their arrival, the school will keep tabs on us. That's why we shall leave on the next day after those big guns have left. I know how it's gonna be, that all the instructors and securities will be as lax as the crumbs from a Pandora. Nothing will keep them getting together. Good, then this is it. Prepare food and clothes. The breakaway action starts a week later from now. No time. Nifta? What's wrong? Matilda, you look like you're crying. I... I can't be a part of this... this breakaway action. I didn't know this is what you planned to do. Unlike you and the others, it was my own wish to be transferred here. 
One time, I saw the school ceremony by the campus fans and she... Uh... No, never mind that. To put it in brief, I can't keep messing about with you people anymore. No matter how they have disciplined us, how awful they sometimes could be, I've never thought about leaving here. I, Matilda Bonish, haven't become the top student in school. Matilda, we won't force you to do anything you don't want to. After all, we are here because we are longing for freedom. We once fought side by side. That would be enough. Oh, by the way, could you tell our plan to mess Majunia for me? She is one of us too. I don't want to leave her behind. Thank you. I promise to tell her about this. Verdon, <laughs> come help us. There are so many critters here. They're sticking to the door. We can't open it. Let me. Get away. Let me try a new trick on them. You've done an excellent job, Mesmer Jr. Taking care of all those patients who suffered from the storm must have been quite harsh, right? I'm sorry you had to go through all this at such a young age. The Mesmers and we have a long history working together. I believe you, as the heir, will be strong enough to know the truth. Of the storm. They are... Mad people. They were once ordinary people just like us. It was not their fault. They were just not ready to take the truth. Not everyone can be as strong as you are, Mesmer Jr. Here, we have many other patients waiting for your help. I will try my best. There's one more thing we found in your locker. Do you mind if we keep it for you? It looks like a new plan from a friend of yours. Merton! <gasps> Please help them! They don't know! They have no idea what happened! Don't let them be in danger! <laughs> of course. That's what I'm here for. Go have some rest now. Maybe there will be new patients coming in the next few days. Thank you for telling me all this. Thank you. He spoke. We have the time of the next storm. They predicted that it will take place in the 27th evening this month. You see, I was right on this. Threats would never have persuaded a man as Vindictae to speak to us, but interest and love would. Thanks to our scout squad, we have not only found the post commanding the Olidiaos, but also captured a prisoner. And now the problem with Verton has also been taken care of. Hmm. The breakaway action starts on the 20th. Why? Oh. I see. Do you have anything in mind? We don't know which of the students have been involved in this plan, but we can send people to the watchtower and rescue those lost lamps on that day. No. <laughs> My 
dear. I want the inspection date to be put off to the 26th and have everyone stay on their posts before then. We will remove one of the guards from each of the watchtowers after the 26th. In the meantime, get rid of the door in the air raid tunnel from the girls' dorm to the clinic. Install a new door made of lead compounds. Also, transfer some of the patients in the foundation to the school clinic. Make sure the clinic is 24 hours secured. These are... I don't get it. We can't build doors with lead. <laughs> Still confused. This is a map airdropped by the Manus. They will wait to pick them up outside the southeast watchtower. But I will not surrender the students we fostered and trained to the enemy. They shall, and only shall, leave from the route I planned and at the time I assigned. Leave? From the route you planned? The day after 26? Are you... are you planning to... To fulfill their dreams. It is time to let them see the storm with their own eyes. Why? We can't do this! This... this is too cruel! Have you considered that the time they left the school will also be the time of the storm? Everyone, except for Virgin, will be reversed! Yes, of course you have. And it's exactly what you want, right? We have no choice. Our protection, in their interpretation, has become a deception. Nothing looks innocent anymore once it's under the cloud of suspicion. And let's not forget, the Manus has their eyes on us. If we make the best use of these sacrifices and have Virgin pledge her loyalty in return, who would have condemned us for this queen's gambit? She's one of a kind. I've been looking forward to her transformation since 1999. And I need her to learn the price of rebellion. Do you have any other questions? If not, you may go on with your task now. Affirmative. But I will never, ever agree with this plan. That's just because you don't understand the game of politics. I don't. Too bad. I'm just a scientist. Change of plan. Emergency. Change of plan. Years after, when I think of that escape, still feels like I was in a chess game, playing against an invisible enemy. Back then, I knew nothing about chess, nor resigning, let alone the fact I was in the Zugzwang. It's impossible to go to the clinic through the girls' dorm. The clinic is now crowded with people and we must give up the road to the Southeast Watchtower. We have another option, to go to the classroom first, then enter the airy tunnel from the library. That is to say, we're heading to the Northwest Tower? 
Exactly. Once we get down to the tunnel, we will be much safer. Have you left the window open at the first floor? Yes. Don't worry, I didn't lock it. Or I can take you in from the library's front door if the window were to be locked by the caretaker. The most dangerous part is from the dorm to the library. Not only will we pass the classroom, but also be exposed under surveillance of the central watchtower. Leave that with me. I will cut the fuse in the central watchtower and Nash should give you a five minute blackout. And you gotta watch out for the patrol team. I will drive them away from you. Okay, now split up. Once the central watchtower's light is out, we move. I will see you under the A12 window of the library. And these crystal earrings are gifts from Matilda before I left. Wear these and we can hear each other within a certain distance. That's all. Be careful, I will see you soon. This is the ring. En route to the center tower. No visible personnel. All clear. Copy. Be careful. Keep in touch. Huh? The thing ahead is... Damn it! It's the patrol team! People in the classroom, distract them. Roger that. It'll be curfew soon. What are you doing here? Uh, I, I had an upset stomach and was trying to walk it off. Sorry, sir. I'm heading back to the dorm now. Stop. Show me your ID. Beta Alpha 4. Cut off the power for the central watchtower for five minutes. Fuse box tripped? Now is the time. Go! Sir! Sir! The light is out in the central tower. Please, come take a look. Is it going to be problematic? What? We're going back. Everyone, go to the library now. It's difficult to sneak out of the dorm at this time. Isabella, if we get stopped by the supervisor, be prepared for conflict. Double Beta 3 are the flower bouquets for the dorm supervisor in position. There are also quite a number of gifts in them. Heads down, stay low. Don't get caught. How come there are so many visitors at the supervisor's office? Huh? They won't see us getting by. Great. Go. How long until you get here? I'm already at the back of the library. Is the window still open at 812? The caretakers didn't notice it, did they? Yeah, but window 812 is a small one. Only little girls like you could get in. Uh, how come? I chose it for it's hidden in the corner. This is awful. It's okay. Don't worry. I'm in! A11 is not locked either! You can get in through A11 too! Castling. The windows were all left opened, just in case. The caretaker would of course be careless at work, given the inspection was just over. What's your move then, Virgin? To boldly push forward or start to feel skeptical? Amazing! Everything's going so well today. You keep watching. We'll be right there. <laughs> <laughs> the blackout watchtower, curtained up classroom windows, blind patrol teams. Huh. What a well planned malpractice show. No wonder. Giving me this fine vodka is just... A treat for my dizzy head and half-shut eyes. <clears throat> Look who's after those DTA. Hopefully I'm not too drunk to get it wrong. Is that a good student? <laughs> Interesting. Your flying ace reporting for duty. According to the map, we are now up the library. Keep going, everyone. 
What is that noise? It's scary. We should be onto the sports field now. Probably some big shot is having some fun with his levitating card. No, it's thunder. It's about to rain. Everything goes so well today. Too well, maybe. Making me uneasy. Don't think like that. Look, we are entering the Northwest Tower after this crossing. Who knows what will be there waiting for us? Let's... Ah! What's wrong? A person... A person sits at the intersection. Finally. My patience is running out. You are... Air Force from Xeno. What are you doing here? Being dedicated to duty. <clears throat> and catch you guys. You really think escaping can be so easy? She's a soldier with field experience. If we can't take advantage within the first few rounds... You guys retreat immediately, and I'll cover for you. As long as one of us can get out of school, our plan succeeds. Oh, I can hear you. In that case, I have to be extra careful, in case any of you lab rats runs away. Please be mindful of your language, Lilia. Your duty is to eliminate the Elite House in the campus, not attacking the students. <gasps> Sonato, why are you here? <laughs> Seriously? Is more practice a compulsory course in your foundation? Then try me. Let me see the best you got. Stone or Swift! Okay, she's now temporarily paralyzed. leaving, Sonato. Thank you for your assistance. Goodbye. You're going to do something very dangerous, aren't you? Yes. Even if it will cost you everything you've had here, you will not be regretful, right? We've prepared for everything that could happen. No regrets. you won't be needing my notebook anymore. <sighs> we chose a different future. But future has no right or wrong, Zanetto. Go back. Get yourself out of these things. It was a pleasure to be your deskmate, Britain. Did you hear it? Did you hear it? It's the rain! It's raining outside! Climb up the stairs and open the lock! And then we can get in the watch tower! Don't let down your guard. Let me see. How are 
of the Shamirs with the lock. Oh, good for them. The door is unlocked. Shh. Don't get excited now. We haven't gone out yet. One after another. Keep it quiet. Don't touch anything. The guard should be on the second floor. Let's move. <sighs> Relax, Fartin. The best is yet to come. Wait till we take a breath of the real air. Till we stuffed ourselves with delicious food and till we get back to our country. There's so much more for us to be shivering at, but in excitement. You're right. Let's open it together. Three, two, one. May the freedom be with us. Burton. Do you want to be the timekeeper? <laughs> 